What up, YouTube? Welcome to the channel. Welcome! I hope you guys are doing good. Hope you're feeling good. And if you ain't, let's fix that. Go back to bed. Get back up. Turn your day around. You know? Cheer up. Today we got a request from Salvo. Thank you, Salvo. My brother. We got some Carmen Consueli. Of course. Salvo's favorite. Uh, first, we're going to do a song called... If I can see, Un Momento de Felicita. My God, I'm blind. The longer my eyes are open, the blinder I get. I get. All right, so Un Momento de Felicita. And I'm butchering that because I could hardly see it. And even if I could, I still can't read because I don't know Italian. And then we're going to do an interview Carmen requested. I mean, Salva requested. It's in New York City, January 2010. So let's hear this. If you're new here, please subscribe. Please share. Please comment. We're growing this channel like a biatch. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go, Mo. I think we need our headphones first. Uh, if you're waiting for requests, please don't worry. It's coming. I promise. Uh, also, some of these videos you might notice there's no intro or outro. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just give me one second. I gotta do this. This is very ghetto. All right. We're a little loopy today. I had a long night. All right. I'm shutting up. Let's go. in prestito la tua valigia oh, so la ciacca che hai lasciato appesa a casa facciamoci una passeggiata una gita fuori porta fosse solo una risata ho preso in prestito la tua valigia e non sai quanto ci ho messo per svuotare Ho preso tutto il necessario, ho voluto anche il superfluo, ho scelto tutto, ho scelto il meglio. Sounds beautiful, man. I just love, I just love her. I love her voice, I love her face, I love the instruments, I like the way it comes in right away, right when it starts, she sings. You know what? I want to read these lyrics, man. I want to read these lyrics. Give me one second to pull these lyrics up, guys. We're going to go old school and we're not even going to edit, we're just going to... Look these lyrics up, and we're going to hear this song. And I'm going to... I'm not going to edit it or nothing. I kind of like the realness of just looking something up in front of you. You know, not pausing, not, not, not a... Let me see. I don't even know if they have the lyrics on mental... Marina. I don't think there is lyrics. Give me one minute. I'm looking. Yeah, I don't really see lyrics. If I have to, I'll look afterwards. But I do like how it's sounding. Of course, I love her voice. It's peaceful. It's relaxing. It's... It's nice. It just sounds nice to your to your ears. It makes you want to fall in love. E la fretta, la fretta di cambiare tante troppe cose. La fretta, il piatto che hai lasciato ancora caldo era fretta. La smania di rincorrerci nel This song makes me want to fall in love, man. I wish I knew what it was about. Does it say anything in the comments? Salvo, can you type these lyrics out for me or something? 
I don't know. I'll figure it out, but I really like the tone of this. It just gives me a peaceful vibe. It makes me feel like I'm in love. Her voice is beautiful. She's beautiful. The song's beautiful. The in I wish I could sing over this. Like, I would love to do a duet with her or something. Soltanto un momento di felicità. I wonder why she chose to make the video like with the black squares on the side, you know, not where it's full screen, which I kind of like. It's a cool, unique, stylistic choice you don't see too often. It's it's not annoying or nothing. It doesn't bother me. I'm just wondering why they chose that. Maybe it it kind of frames life, you know, like how we're just so small on this planet. You know, it could be an art choice. Anyway. Let me shut up, I'm talking crazy. La fretta di cambiare tante troppe cose. La smania di rincorrerci nel tempo. Le prospettive, i sogni, le opportunità. Bastava così poco per riprendere. Soltanto un momento di felicità. I wonder what the clothes represent. I wonder what the clothes represent. Oh man, I'm loving this song. It kind of reminds me of something Blue October would do. Uh, a little more mellow than Blue October might do, but well, honestly, beautiful. Bastava così poco per riprendere. Soltanto un momento di felicità. I like that little guitar thing. It's like I don't think it's a guitar. There's a there's an instrument country bands and country musicians use where it sits on their lap and it it kind of plays like a guitar, but it's not. I think that's what that is, but I love that. I love the way it sounds. Right there. Salvo, man, you're gonna make me cry, bro. You're gonna make me cry. What a beautiful song. Beautiful women. Uh, what can you say, man? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I really liked it, man. I think that one's gonna go right in my music. And now we're gonna watch the interview. I was gonna do it in a separate video. I figured why not do it in the same video. Uh, this is a live interview, I believe, in New York City. But I never heard her talk, so I am curious. Salvo, what year did she come out? Like, what was her first CD? Or anyone, not just Salvo, whoever wants the answer. But I think it's beautiful. Let me know if you guys like this style where I don't even edit. I just be as real as possible. No editing. Just, you know, it's like we're hanging out kind of, but we're not. Um. Anyway, let's hear this interview. Carmen Consoli has a distinctive voice that it's difficult to forget, especially when she performs solo, alternating a couple of acoustic guitars. Questo, 
the intimate show she played at City Winery in New York was a far cry from the big concerts that are usually her meet. No I love little intimate concerts like that because you get to see the your artist up close. No matter where you are, you could be way in the back and you're still pretty close, you know. I love that. Intimate. It's cool she does that because she don't have to. She's huge. She does not have to play little clubs like that, but she respects the fans. Not surprisingly, the place was packed. I noticed that there's something uh, that music uh, um, conveys uh, which goes beyond the language. The more you are authentic, the more you reach for the hearts of people, then you can sing uh, French, uh, Italian. I think that music is a, a matter of uh, heart to heart. And uh, if you are authentic, you you hit the hearts of people and not the ears. That's true. I'm on the top. That's true. Uh, music speaks to your heart, and it really does. You know, you hear it. Yeah, you hear it. You're listening. But that ain't what gets you. What gets you is the way it makes you feel. The way it makes you feel is what, you know, what makes you really love it. Not that it sounds cool. That helps, but the way it makes you feel. Upselling Italian singers, songwriters, Miss Consoli is a successful combination of rocker and storyteller. Her debut album, released in 1996, is still the one she's fondest of. 96. I guess you don't have to answer me about that question earlier, Salvo. 96. Quite like the first kiss, she says. After dipping into rock and pop for about 10 years, she recently revealed more local roots. I started my music trip with overseas contaminations and stuff like that. But as the time went by, it has become paramount for me um, the urgency to recover my own roots, uh, which happened to be Sicilian. <laughs> I respect that. I respect her seeking out what she, you know, what was in her heart, what was what was her passion. You know, when bands do that, people get mad. They say, oh, they changed. They're not the same. I don't like them anymore. They got to sing for themselves before anyone else. They got to sing for themselves before even the fans, you know, because if they don't, if they ain't feeling it, if they ain't loving it, then, you know, you want you want your artist to be happy, right? You want your artist to feel passionate and love what they're doing. So I, I never hate a band for changing their style. It's, you know, I just, you evolve, you change. You're, I don't listen to music that I used to listen to back in the day. I never thought I'd be listening to this music. But you get older, you mature, you grow, you change. Her brief American tour was a warm-up for a new album, Electra. In Greek mythology, Electra is a tragic heroine who kills her mother to avenge her father. In psychiatry, her name evokes a complex. In Miss Consoli's imagination, she's a prostitute who falls for a client. I wanted to call my album uh, Electra because um, uh, in, in my father's uh, honor, because I lost him a few months ago. So the title represents uh, uh, the love towards my father. And in the song, she's uh, she's a prostitute. So I, I like, you know, the the multitudes of uh, uh, aspects uh, related to Electra. She's one woman, but she could be 100 women. success is uh, to do what you want to do, to be yourself, even if you have uh, you know, four people attending your concerts, that's being uh, successful. Reporting so from New York, this is Enrico Bona, NYFA, NBC News. So beautiful. And I don't just mean beautiful because she's beautiful, I mean beautiful because she's sweet. That was enjoyable. That was really enjoyable. Um, very inspiring. I like how she talks. I like what she says. You know, it's has true meaning to it. Class Look, act. 
Did you know? No, there I was didn't a know. What, you, what, what is this guy talking? Grant. I didn't know. I didn't know. But uh, yeah, man, Carmen. I want to try something, guys. Hold on. Carmen inspired me. Salvo, this is a special video for you, bro. Don't look at my ass. That ass joke was just a joke. Let me see some. We're gonna do it so ghetto on this video that we're even gonna tune right on camera. We're gonna tune the guitar right on camera. Very special video for you, Salvo. This is when I lose all my subscribers. What's wrong with him? He don't even edit. I like the realism of a video like this, you know? I don't always like well-polished videos. It's kind of like a, a song. Sometimes you want a raw song. You don't want a perfect take. I should know what I'm gonna play, but I'm totally winging it. Turn the mic up. I just made that up. Let's go into another song. Am I really gonna upload this? Yes, I am. I promise myself. Salvo, thank you so much. Sorry for that cringy, ridiculous ending to a video. I don't know if any YouTuber has ever done that. If you see another reactor, do that. Play a song that they just made up on camera in front of everyone that sounds like shit. Let me know, because I don't think you're going to find one. Peace out, guys.